Okay, welcome to the split screen video. So, this is with Steam. So, what you want to do is load up your first character using Steam as normal. Once you're signed in and everything, go into your file explorer. And if you know where your Steam files installed, then you know where to go. But if you don't, then go to your first hard drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Final Fantasy. Go into the boot, and it has to be Final Fantasy 14 boot. And that will launch without Steam. So, close your file explorer. And because I've already logged in, obviously I don't need to do anything but from there on it's just as normal of course you need two accounts so your friend will need an account or your brother or sister or any member of the family so once you have logged in with both your people you need to the first one you do will be at the keyboard so go into system settings of course you need to play on windows windowed mode so disable the controller apply and I'm gonna turn the I'll turn the vo volume down for the game for the video so that's basically it for that so you go into this one And I recommend so making sure that the uh, this window doesn't play any sound. So enable that. Go to controller settings. Make sure the controller is enabled. Make sure the controller is enabled when client is inactive. So as you can see, my controller just. Oh yeah, you, the keyboard screen needs to be the active one, of course. So you can go and do your own business. Um, it runs quite well. I'm using the Phantom 965 Black Edition, and it's overclocked to 3.9, and that's while I'm recording. That's using 96 percent. Um. I'm using around 3.5 RAM. If you've only got two gigs of RAM, it'll run completely horrible. So, um, yeah, if you if you got a alright CPU and four gigs of RAM, you're definitely going to be able to run this. I ran it when I used to play split screen with my brother. I used to use a 660 GTX. Now I'm using a 980, but the 660 handled it pretty well at medium settings, and the game looks pretty good. Um, and once I figured out how to do it, get sorted with split screen with my brother, I obviously started thinking about can I play two players by myself. So um, you can do that if you want. I can try and show you what it's like to try and play two characters but if you don't want to watch that thanks for watching and subscribe and thumbs up if you like the video so let's teleport somewhere to go and fight to that camp. So. so let's see how easy I can get these two into the same spot. Just the hard drive I'm using, it's not SSD or anything.
Final Fantasy is running on the same hard drive as Windows. So with the load screens up, I guess. I don't use. She's D Devil, he's X now. I don't usually use X now, so I can't even remember if I've got a token. Oh, um. no. So, yeah. I would ask my brother to come and help, but he's at work, so. Disengage. I think I'm 29 and 25. Um, you can't hear his summoning now, but as D Devil gets closer to X now, you'll be able to hear. So it's not too bad if you're fine next to each other. So as I mainly be controlling X now, I've got E set, so it targets the nearest enemy. There's one me, I guess. So, what I would do to start a fight is I've got three to no F2 to target your second party member, three set to follow, two to cast barrier, so three to follow. Every time she casts a spell, she stops following. So I can cast bio, and as I cast bio, you can go to press E in sheer target to same target issue, and then four to cast the wind spell, I guess, and then you get continue as normal with your main character, and I guess try and take the hate off your white mage. So. If you cast, you can just make sure your second character will mainly be there to cure you. So, all you would have to do to cast a cure is press one, say, while you're concentrating on your main character. Um, I know it looks a mess now, but you would have to figure out if you wanted to do an enemy solo or something. It, it can be quite a good help. I mean, I know I'm a mess here, but. It's not too bad. And obviously your your white mage would not be able to move out the way of the hate, so you would have to try and get the aggro in. So keep Why is she not Um sometimes it stops following when you cast spells and I guess sometimes it does. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's that. Um, thanks for watching and thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. Thanks.